April has not been pretty so far, that's for sure. I suspect a lot of people are in the same camp with you, Pete. Uh, it's not bad for those of us who have sold calls, like Pete and I have, against our long holdings. That's like collecting rent. We talk mm -hmm. about it all the time. Why wouldn't you collect rent against a $200,000, $400,000 million condo? Of course you would. I like this uh, a little bit less, Pete, because it seems like the market is really under pressure right after the opening almost every day. The one positive that you and I can pull away from this being who we are, which is options traders, there are calls and there are puts. And as mm -hmm. you accurately pointed out to Charles, and we have seen an enormous number of puts over the last couple of weeks here in April. Are they positioning? Are they protecting? That's always a difficult thing to assess, but either way, we've seen a heck of a lot of puts being bought to the downside for sure, depending on, take take your pick, S&P, sure, IWM, absolutely, Qs, sure, a lot of the various ETFs for different, the financials, whatever it might be, absolutely. So it makes a lot of sense right now, John, why we've seen so much put activity because it's another day and it seems like the markets just do not want to turn around just yet. I think they need a little more insight from the Fed. And I'm not making fun of him when I say that. Um, he's been very transparent. You're one of the first people to continue to point that out, that if you actually listen to what he's saying rather than trying to make it fit a particular narrative, he keeps saying, hey, we're gonna be driven by data and the data right now is not great. U.S. employment costs are going up faster than expected. That was in Q1. I don't think it's changed a lot in Q2, which we are just in the midst of the first month of three. It's not all bad. You know, inflation uh, does eat into your ability to buy stuff, but uh, this is getting to the corporate level where there's corporate inflation as well, and they're really kind of scared of that, I think. You know, you look at April, we're down about 3% on the S&P. And now today, with a little bit more push to the downside, pretty close to almost a 4% drop for the S&P for the month of April. So maybe we want to get out of April. Now you've also got all those crazies out there that always love to use that stupid expression. Well, sell in May and go away. I, I mean, you know, let's let's be honest. Is that really something you're going to go off of? I don't know. I don't think so. I think we, <laughs> you and I used to listen to all these guys who say that. Usually they're the posers and the guys who don't actually trade that say that because the reality is there's always something to be able to, you can do within the markets. All you need is as long as there's volumes, and we've got volumes. We're still averaging about 48 million contracts a day, John. So there's a lot of room right now. And I don't think you want to go away in May. I think you want to be here. I think you ought to stay here now in May.